Good morning, people. What's going on? It is January 2022, the month in which most people decide that there's something in their life that they want to change, some kind of New Year's resolution that they, they want to implement for their life. And uh, sadly to say, most people don't make it out of this month with that resolution, whatever it is, if it's, if it's health related, if it's, uh, you know, financially wanting to, to be in a better place, uh, maybe relationships, you know, being better at, at just doing a better job of, of, of communicating or just working on relationships that need to be mended. And I think it's really sad that, that we set these goals as people for things we want to improve in our lives and, and we don't stick with it. We, we don't have the perseverance to, to push through and to, to see a, a change happening in our life. You know, truth be told, a lot of times the reason why that happens is because there's something inside of us that feels like there's a void like like we're we're missing something and so we're looking we're looking at our lives and saying what could i change to fulfill me what could i change to make me feel better you know make just make my life better than it is today and i think part of the reason why those those new year's resolutions don't stick and they don't work is because we don't really know what's missing we don't really know the thing that we need to help us feel fulfilled to help us feel content and uh, I think for a lot of people the reason why they they have that is because they're missing they're missing a part of them that they don't know that they're missing and for me a lot of a lot of, for a long time I had that same problem I just was looking to to change things in my life that I thought needed to be changed to help myself feel better and none of those resolutions that we set for ourselves work because we don't realize that the thing that we're missing is a relationship with God we need Jesus and especially in today's world we need Jesus more than we ever had if you look at what's going on in the world today Things that are good are being called evil, and things that are evil are being called good. And that doesn't just affect us on a, on a national stage. It affects us in our lives personally, every single day. And truthfully, the only way that you're going to see a change in your life is if you start at the root of the problem. And for a lot of people, the root of the problem is, is they don't know Jesus. They know about him, maybe. Maybe they heard somebody talking about Jesus, but they don't know him on a personal level, on an intimate level. And so, if you are, are struggling with New Year's resolutions, if you feel like every year you set goals for yourself and they don't work, and you know, by the time the end of January comes around, you're done, I would challenge you, if you don't know Jesus, that that is the root problem for you. That is the reason why change isn't happening in your life. That's the reason why you haven't been able to find joy. That's the reason why you haven't been able to shake depression and anxiety. It's because the solution that you're looking for is the wrong solution. Jesus has the answer. He has the answer for every single problem in our lives. The Bible says that he was tempted in all measures. So he knows how to empathize with our situation. Every single problem in life that you've faced, Jesus has an answer for it. So I would challenge you guys today that if you don't know Jesus, that you would truthfully ask him to come into your heart to be your savior. He died on a cross for you, he died on a cross not just so that you can be saved and have an eternity to spend with him, 
but he died on that cross to offer you a resolution, if you would like to say it that way, to all of the problems that you face today. So if you don't know Jesus, I would challenge you to make that your New Year's resolution, to get to know him, not just to know about him, but to know him on an intimate level. So if you don't know Jesus and you're watching this, this video, ask him into your heart and repeat after me. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I thank you that you died on a cross for me to forgive me of my sins, to help me in the areas of life where I've fallen short, and I lay my life down for you. As of today, I seek your will in everything that I do. And I thank you that you are my resolution for this year, for 2022. In Jesus' name, amen. If you guys prayed that prayer and you said yes to Jesus, like or comment on this video so that I know. But again, that's my challenge to you guys for the year of 2022. Seek the resolution to the root of the problem, not just the superficial surface things that, that we notice. Dive deeper, dive deeper into the reason why you haven't been able to feel contentment, the reason why you still feel like something is missing. I promise you the reason why you're having those feelings is because Jesus is the void He's the one that can fill that void. Nobody else. So like and comment and uh, just let me know if you guys if you guys said yes to Jesus. I would just really like to know which people on here accepted and, and said that. And, and follow up at the end of the year and let me know how it's going. Honestly. Because I can promise you that if you make him your resolution for this year and forever... You're always going to feel like when you're going into a new year, you're going to feel content, you're going to feel happy, you're going to feel joy, and you're not going to have the need to come up with all these resolutions that don't work at the beginning of every year. All right, I'll check in with you guys later. Bye.